Hello everybody, uh, in this video we're going to try and give you a bit of a demonstration idea of Saab's black panel or a night panel feature as it's called in the newer models. Uh, the idea of this was essentially to dim out all instrumentation except for the speedometer um, and the idea was to uh, let you have greater forward vision. Um, Saab obviously carries this over from their aircraft background. So at the moment we've got our uh, instrument cluster set up obviously just in a normal mode like you'd see in any other car. Obviously I'm pulled over by the side of the road um, and you can see the standard gauges that I'd see. Obviously over here on the uh, the side panel here um, obviously I have an aftermarket uh, stereo uh, but we've got the normal um, SID 3 and air conditioning controls etc etc. So the button that we're looking at in Saabs to do this, it's called Black Panel because this is a this is a Saab 900 um, new generation or GM 900. Um, in the 9.3 and the 9.5s, this is going to be called uh, Night Panel, and that's what it's certainly called in my vision. So to use it, all you really need to do is press the Black Panel button, and as you can see, the uh, information screen dims out. These things stay on, obviously this is aftermarket, I can turn that off by doing that anyway, it makes it a bit easier. But over at the instrument uh, cluster here, we see that we've just got the speedo and the light warning on. And I'll turn off the cabin light, make it a bit darker, but there you see. So, you know, that's a forward vision at night time. As you can see, the light's really not so distracting. Alright, now there are a couple of interesting ways that this thing works, and we'll take it for a bit of a drive to start off with. So we'll just make sure we've got nothing coming up behind me, but then we'll then we'll set off. I must admit that doing this while driving is probably not the safest thing in the world to do. But first thing I'll do is I'll show you this feature. Red line there, but you can see that the uh, taco will illuminate whenever you hit the red line. That's to show you that you're on the red line, stopping an idiot and change gear. All right, now that will go out in a second, and there we go. So I'm doing 80 kilometers an hour, which is the speed limit here, and we're all hunky-dory. You can see that I have the lights on, obviously, uh, and it's showing me that as well. In later models, that light indicator is actually at the bottom of the speedo ring, and I think that's a bit of an improvement. It integrates it more and makes the light thing a little bit um, less of a distraction. Uh, now, what I'll do here is I'll just quickly turn the cruise control on. As you can see, a little indicator comes on to show that the cruise control is working uh, and so it, the idea is I guess is that any sort of warnings or indicators of things that you have on accessories uh, will come on if you have low fuel um, the fuel gauge will be illuminated and of course if your water temperature is high that will be illuminated as well so, that's Saab's night panel. It's a little interesting thing that Saab's have. Um, if you're familiar with them, you probably know about it. If you don't, well, Saab's are a little interesting little niche brand of car, and I quite enjoy them. So, hope you've enjoyed this video, and of course what we can do is just turn it back off. And there we go. I've got all my instruments back here for this evening. Alright guys, I'll see you later.